Welcome to Mindful Movement for Deep Neck Stability. We're going to talk about chin tucks. We're going to talk about when these are appropriate, when they are not appropriate, um, and how to engage these muscles in our deep neck, our shoulder blades, our core, our, and our jaw to help provide neck stability. All you need is a mat, um, comfy service to lay down on, and a couple of bands light resistance bands um, and some water. So grab your equipment and let's get started. I'm gonna just show you from this angle so that you can see what's happening with my neck. So chin tucks are a commonly prescribed exercise in physical therapy for anything neck, shoulder, head related. There is a like really good research to show that strengthening your deep neck flexors can help with jaw pain, can help if you have cervical instability. We really need to strengthen these muscles, but I find most people do it incorrectly, and so... Often what happens is if you've lost some curvature in your neck, sometimes people just flatten their neck. And honestly, just doing that made Movement should make you like really dizzy. Um, it needs to be gentle and we want to maintain your natural curvature of your neck and just bring your chin down slightly to engage these muscles in the front of your neck. I often find people feel when they do this exercise these muscles are really guarded and that's okay um, the other thing we want is you're gonna take your tongue to the roof of your mouth suction it to the roof of your mouth and then relax your lips keeping it suctioned so that I no no biting with your jaw this exercise to a lot of people just kind of go and we're not doing that so suction roof of your mouth Unpop your jaw, relax your lips, and then you're going to lightly bring your chin down. Very, very gentle. So, that's it. Okay, so it should feel like basically nothing's happening. From here, we need to keep this chuck, this, this tuck. So we're creating as many double chins as possible. Gentle. Do not flatten out your neck. You still got a nice curvature in your neck. Then you're going to lift your head as if, like we're lifting it this far off the ground. That's it. And then back down. Um, where people go wrong here is they think they're only lifting an inch and they're all the way up here. Or you lose these folds in the front of your neck and if you lose the folds, you're working back here. Those muscles that are contributing to your tension headaches. So start with the jaw, suction tongue to the roof of your mouth, relax your lips, talk gently, lift, keep. Keep the folds. As soon as you've started to lose the folds, you can try again. And then slowly lower. I get really shaky with this one, which is good. It means that well, it means I need to work on it. So tuck, lift, hold. And relax. And while you're doing this, we're gonna take some of those deep breaths kind of down into your pelvic floor. We're gonna do about 10 of those with a five to 10 second hold for each one. If the lift is not working for you yet, then just do the tuck, okay? So the time not to do this exercise would be if you have a herniated disc that is symptomatic. A lot of people have disc issues and no symptoms, but if you're having like symptoms going down your arm and like specifically when you flex your neck, that's when we don't wanna do it. Um, for cervical instability, we want to strengthen this area, but it needs to be gentle. Do not push through any uh, dizziness, nausea. Um, 
look up the the five five D's and five N's. Um, so it's gonna be like double vision, dizziness, sort of slurring speech, um, facial numbness, nausea. There's a lot. I should be able to spurt these off, but um, any of those symptoms, don't push me. So, gentle tuck and hold. Relax your jaw. Breathe. If you're ready for level two, then that's going to be the same thing. Relax your jaw. Lift very gently. Keep your chin down, but not keeping some natural curve. So if you have a lot of neck stability, you probably can like very easily flatten everything. And again, that's what we don't want. 50% of your range. Shoulders down. Relax your jaw. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. Tuck and hold. Relax and keep going. We're going to do 10 with a 5 second hold. Especially as you're getting tired, don't clench your jaw. Take a break. While we're here in this position, I'm going to tuck your shoulders under. I'm going to do some bridges. So we've got feet flat, push equally through your feet so that your hips can come up, not arching the low back, just pressing, not really having to do any like excessive squeezing. I'm going to breathe in, down into the pelvic floor, blow out as you're pushing your feet into the ground. We've got 10 of these. Hold at the top and march one, two, keep the hips as level as you can, three, push through your feet, four, five, my feet are not leaving the ground very high, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lower slowly. We've got some dead bugs next. Um, I do have earlier core videos. If you're starting at this one, please go back to some of those earlier ones. Um, so we've got our different levels. Level one is that breathing in. Level two is breathe with a little baby march. Three, we've got a bigger march. Four, we're holding here, that 90 degree angle. Five, we are lowering one at a time and six arms up legs up core engaged but breathing to engage the core shoulder blades kind of tucked under to find that starting position you've got arm up leg down and breathe it's all coming from here
only do as many as you can while keeping it in the right muscles. If it switches to low back pain, then you're done. And take a break. Oh. Whew. I always feel like sort of some like coat hanger pain in my neck when I do that. I think I'm just weak, but <laughs> I don't like the feeling. All right. We're going to do it again. Pick your level and whoop, we're going. And I'm gonna take a break. I'm starting to actually feel more in my hip flexors and my neck. So that's my sign just to give myself a little bit of break. We're gonna flip over to your hands and knees. Nice and slow. And go. Knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Press your body away from the floor. Neck is neutral. Tuck your toes under. Keep the shoulders engaged. Keep your elbows unlocked. And you're going to lift your knees two inches. And we're going to hold for 10 seconds in three, two, one, lift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And rest. You got two more of those. All right, here we go. Ready? And ten, nine. Keep breathing. Keep pressing through those hands. And take a break. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Augie loves it though, don't you, buddy? Yeah. He loves it. One more set. Shoulders and lift. One, two, three, four. <laughs> take a break. All right, we're going to grab your band, take your time, and we're going to move over to the wall for some wall clocks. I feel like you want as light of a band as possible. This one's a little heavier than I want, but this is all I have in this room right now. So. Um, ideally, a band that you can wrap around your wrists, um, or your forearms. What I'm going to do is just kind of go around my thumbs. Not as ideal, but it'll work. You're going to lean into the wall, take a step back, kind of round shoulder height. Start with shoulders up, back, down, forward. So by doing that, and the hips are forward, we're planking into the wall. So you'll feel just some gentle core work happening without having to focus on it. Okay, so we're gonna go up, center, diagonal, center, side, center, and switch. Really focusing on the stabilizing shoulder, so you're gonna sink into it. Don't let that happen. Keep actively pushing away, diagonal, and side. I'm gonna give a little bit more tension. Up, diagonal, side, switch. Up, diagonal, side, switch. This is also a good opportunity to work on that neck positioning. We've got, we're not tucking here, right? We're just making sure that we're not here. Augie is being creepy. I don't know if you heard that. Uh, so we just want a nice neutral neck while you're doing this workout. Okay, up, diagonal, side. Two more on each side. And 
switch. All right, you are welcome to do one more set of that. I'm actually gonna stop um, with just one set of that. So for the next one, you're gonna stand on stand on your band. So I'm gonna actually loop this around my left foot. I know it's hard to see. Right arm is here. We got thumb up, or you know, if you have a long band, you just hold on to it here. You're gonna come up to shoulder height. Back down at a 45 degree angle. Just for eight and then switch. Take a break, last one, palms up, elbows in, and pull apart, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're going for ten, eight, nine, ten, um, I'm sticking with one right now, kind of neck and shoulder area can be a little bit touchy, I have a headache just from standing up, but, um, so that is it for neck and, for for neck and core today. If you want to dive deeper into some of these neck exercises, I do have a 12 week program specific for that. Um, we're going to cover a lot of the exercises that we did today, as well as some hip work and full body because it's all connected. We can't just isolate the neck, especially if you have systemic hypermobility. So. Uh, that is on my website under programs called neck and shoulder stability if you're interested in diving deeper otherwise we still have one or two more free workouts that are coming right here for my mindful movement series so drink lots of water if you have the capacity and you're feeling good you could go through another set of each of these exercises um, but I encourage you to see how your body responds and to make sure you don't trigger like a headache or anything tomorrow and then maybe trying again after that. Thank you for joining and I'll see you tomorrow.